I'm going to be signing one captain from every football club. We're going to be assembling a team of leaders to see if they can come together and win the Champions League. This wheel has got a bunch of different football clubs from really big clubs to really small ones. We're going to spin it now and whichever club pops up, we're going to have to sign their club captain, Atletico Madrid. Okay, who's Atletico Madrid's captain? I don't think it's Antoine Griezmann. It's actually Koke. I mean, it's not a bad start, I'd say. 84 rated. Now I've got to make a choice. Either I can sign Koke or we're going to play a game of stick or twist. I can stick with Atletico Madrid who I've just got or I can twist and spin again, but I have to pick the next club I get. Do you know what, guys? I think Koke is a very good first choice. And nah, I don't want to risk the first player we're bringing in. So yup, the first captain coming through is Koke from Atletico. Madrid. Oh, and by the way, we only get a total of 20 captains to sign to our team. So yeah, we need to be really careful building the squad, because I don't know if we're going to have a player in every position, which is going to be needed to try and win the Champions League. We're now seeing the next club it's going to be, and Inter Miami! Yo, that's probably the best one! We've lucked out massively. Do I twist this? Nope. Absolutely not, because Miami's captain is quite possibly the most iconic captain of all time. A World Cup winning captain, too. It's Leo Messi. Oh man, having a 90 rated attacker is going to be so crucial. And there you go, he's the second captain to join our team. I'm wondering who's going to be the captain among all the captains we sign. I guess we'll leave that for once we've got all the players in. The luck's been really good. Let's see which is the next club we get. And okay, this is a bit of an iffy one. Real Betis. I'm kind of unsure who their captain is. Oh, okay. It's Nabil Fekir. And yo, Nabil Fekir, it's 82 rated. He's actually got a history of captaining clubs. I remember he was the Olympic Leo captain too. I don't think we should be nope. twisting this one. Because Fekir is a solid addition to the team. Time to see which club we're going to be getting next. Oh, it's Ajax. Throughout history, Ajax have had some iconic captains like Johan Cruyff. And recently, it was their new signing, Jordan Henderson, who took up the armband. But he's actually not their club captain. It's Steven Bergwijn. And I'm not going to lie, I don't think he's captain material enough to get in to our team. We're going to twist this one and spin the wheel again. Okay, please, don't let me regret this. Don't let me regret this. Aston Villa. Surely it's better than Bergwijn. Ah, uh, it's John McGinn. I mean, hey, at least he's higher rated than Bergwijn. And we've got no choice. We twisted. We've got to now stick with John McGinn. To be fair, we've actually completed our midfield of captains and it looks pretty okay. By the way, before we pick our next player, today's video is sponsored by Vex, who've just released their brand new sports predictor game. The predict game involves making weekly predictions on your favorite sporting events like Formula One. Players are awarded points for correctly predicting the answers to each of the questions. Prizes are then distributed to the top 10 players who scored the most points in each game. The predict game is powered by Vexed, and this is just the start. There's a lot more coming. And for this week, the predict game is free to play. And also, I've got 1,000 Vexed tokens to give away to you guys. So get involved. You can learn more about what Vexed is, because all the links are going to be in the description. Do check out the predict game. Let's see what club we're getting next. AC Milan. I was hoping the captain is Rafael Leao, but nah, he's too young and inexperienced for that. Instead, Theo Hernandez is an AC Milan captain, but he's only the vice captain. Instead, their first team captain is David Calabria. I don't know if we're going to be able to sign a higher rated fullback than him, and I think we should just take it. There you go. Calabria, the next player to come through. Come on, let's start getting higher rated captains, man. But Brighton? Okay, I know that a decent team these days with a great coach, but their captain is Lewis Dunk, and he's not going to help us win the Champions League. I'm taking a bit of risk and twisting. Oh man, please give us a good club. Napoli is decent. Now we have to sign Napoli's first team captain. And no way, it's Giovanni Di Lorenzo. I just said I probably wouldn't get a better right back than Calabria, and we've literally got one in the next pick. Ah, oh, this is annoying. Well, I guess Calabria can be on the bench because we've got Di Lorenzo coming through. Oh, we get another Serie A club to sign a captain from, and it's Roma. Please tell me their captain is Paolo Dybala. And nope, it's not him. But instead, it's Lorenzo Pellegrini. You know what? 83 rated midfielder. I don't think I can complain about this. Oh, look at that. A leader of men. He's a true captain as well. Welcome, Pellegrini, to Captains FC. I don't know what formation we're gonna use to fit all these captains into the team. But yeah, what we kinda need now is a goalkeeper captain, centre-back captains, even a striker captain. Hope Hopefully we can get them. Next club is going to be Galatasaray. That's not a good one. I mean, we wanted a goalkeeper and their captain is 
Fernando Muslera. But come on, what's an 80 rated goalkeeper gonna do for us? I'm going to twist this one. I'm hoping it pays off, man. I'm really hoping it does. Oh my days, I don't even recognize that club logo. Wait a minute, that's Stuttgart. And they're third in the Bundesliga. Surely they've got a great club captain. It's Waldemar Anton. Probably should have just stuck with Muslera. Okay, we need a big captain now. A game-changing player. Sevilla? Wait a minute, surely Ramos is their captain? No way, it's Jesus Navas. Why are so many right-backs all captains? We definitely don't need another right-back. We're twisting. But which club are we gonna get? Okay, Juventus, we'll take that. Ah, but their captain, Stanilo? I mean, he's 81 rated and we've got no choice but to sign him. Oh boy, the state of that defense. It does not look good. We're spinning now for the next club? Ah, it's Wolfsburg. As I said, after getting a bunch of really average centre-backs, we need a big boy captain. And this is Wolfsburg's captain. I mean, he's decent, but I'm twisting. Please, man, we need to start getting some of the bigger clubs. And oh, I thought we were almost gonna get PSG, but instead, it's Luton Town. And I know who Luton Town's captain is. Tom Lockyer, 74 rated. Ah. Oh. Please, can our next player be a bit decent? Okay, Villarreal, they might have some sort of a baller. I really thought it was gonna be Danny Parejo, because I remember him being the captain of Valencia, but it's not him. Instead, it's 37-year-old Raul Albiol. He's got 35 pace. Hopefully, at least our next player's gonna be a bit better. It's Benfica. And their captain's Nicolas Otamendi. Bro, the amount of centre-backs we've got, there's no point taking him. Nah, we're twisting this. So far, though, whenever we've twisted, we've not really got an insane player, but that's gonna change, because we get Real Madrid. Who could their captain be? Maybe Luka Modric? But apparently, he's only the vice-captain. It's definitely not Jude Bellingham. No way. Is this actually serious? Nacho Fernandez is Real Madrid's captain? What? Can't believe it, guys. We're just adding a bunch of average centre-backs to our team. But yeah, it kind of makes sense, because if you see who usually captains football teams, it's quite often centre-backs. Nevertheless, it's frustrating. Our team had started off so well with Messi, Pellegrini, Di Lorenzo and all, but now we can't seem to fill out the rest of the squad. We still need a great striker, as well as a solid goalkeeper. And we're already done with 12 picks. Just 8 more to go. Before we pick our next player, I'd really appreciate if you could spare the moment and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. Alright, come on. This is where we're gonna get a big boy captain. I wanna cry. I don't even wanna know who Almeria's club captain is. We're twisting. But let me know in the comments if it was actually a good player. Come on, there are definitely a few big clubs left. And we're getting Spurs. Okay. Oh, Hugo Lloris would have been really nice, but he's left Spurs. No way, I can't believe it. Young Min Son is the Tottenham captain. Let's go, boys. And of course, he's joining the captain's FC. This transfer might have saved us, because if we need, we can play him at striker down the left. He can play anywhere in the attack. I think for the first time, twisting really helped us. Even though we've got Son, we are still in desperate need for a goalkeeper. All right, come on. Let's see who we can get. Monaco. Okay, this might not be too bad. We saw Ben yet it could be a solid option on the bench or even as a starter i think we'll take this another french club up next and it's marseille their captain is valentin rongier a good cdm but i think we're already covered there there's no point going for him and so we're twisting last time we twisted it really worked out well this time i think it has worked out well indeed psg i really thought killing mbappe was their captain because i often saw him with the armband or maybe that was for france but for PSG, it's actually Marquinhos who carries the armband. And you know what? That's the best centre-back we've got so far. 87 rated. That's huge. Okay, now at least the first team is coming together. I'm liking the back line. We've got Messi and Son as well. All we just need is like a goalkeeper. But we've only got five picks remaining. Oh, it's Al Nasser, the big one. At this point, Al Nasser is basically Ronaldo FC. He's their captain. He's their everything. And I'll say this. Ronaldo is a good leader. I think we all saw that in the Euros 2016. I'm definitely not twisting nope. this. And we're indeed signing Ronaldo to Captain's FC. With Ronaldo coming in, I don't know if we're good enough to win the Champions League, but I think we've got a chance with that attack. But yeah, we still need a goalkeeper and we've got just four picks remaining. Look at the amount of good clubs left in the wheel. Surely, surely we're gonna get some good club captains. Of course, man, of course. Sasu freaking Olo. This would be the worst club captain we would have signed so far. His name is Ferrari, but he got no peace. 100% we're twisting. Please be worth it. Please be worth it. I mean, it's going to be worth it. I don't think it is. Darmstadt. Oh, their captain's 73 rated, but we've got no choice but to sign him. 
We got just three picks left and we need a captain goalkeeper. Please, man, don't do me like this. Don't do me like this. We get Liverpool and I think this is going to be a bit insane. Well, not because Alisson's their captain. That would have been nice. But instead, it's even better because it's Virgil van Dijk, the world's best centre-back, Liverpool's captain. I'm so glad Jordan Henderson's left before I recorded this video. I think with VVD joining the captain's FC, we do have the team to win the Champions League, but we do need a goalkeeper in the last couple of picks. Please don't stitch me up, Wheel. Don't stitch me up and it's not going to Bayern Munich. You guys know who's Bayern Munich's captain? Probably one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, Manuel Neuer. Not gonna lie, I'm so freaking relieved. This might have literally saved our team. Honestly, for the final pick, I don't even care. If you want to give me a good player, that's fine. And Barcelona? Oh, wait, what? Sergi Roberto is their club captain? How the mighty have fallen. We're twisting this. Come on, let's see who the final club's going to be. Oh, Valencia. To be honest, Jose Goya is their captain. And we kind of needed a left back. Not bad at all. Even our final signing is going to help us out. And so, guys, we've assembled our team of captains. And yo, this team actually looks really good. But I can't believe McGinn has sneaked himself in here. Okay, who do we make the captain of all captains? Now, if I choose between Messi and Ronaldo, you guys are going to just go crazy in the comments. Let's do Manuel Neuer. I think he's, he's worthy of captaining everyone. But it's time to see how this team does in the Champions League. End of the season and looks like all that leadership was not enough. Because it's only 7th in the Premier League. Oh, but I think it's because Ronaldo and Messi's overalls just took a nosedive. Same with Neuer. But Ronaldo... Ronaldo still scored 25 goals, Son as well, Messi did okay, but how did the captains do in the Champions League? For starters, only second in their group, and no way, all that leadership, and out in the round of 16. I mean, I was kind of expecting it, you can't have everyone be just a leader, you need some talent. This team definitely had talent, but clearly not enough. But hey, if you enjoyed watching me build this team, why not watch me build the most loyal team on FIFA? Click here to watch that.